everybody. Just getting salad tongs. I've got the dressing. Ah! Whoa! Ta-da! You need to be more careful. I mean, what's more important, salad or safety? It's a toss-up. Get it? <laughs> Come on, let's make a super yummy, good for the tummy salad. Um, I've got bad news. We're all out of tomatoes and cucumbers uh. and lettuce. What? A salad isn't a salad without lettuce. Wow, he's serious about lettuce. Are you sure we're all out? I'm sure. <sighs> we come through more lettuce than a drove of rabbits. How can you be talking about driving rabbits at a time like this? <laughs> a drove of rabbits is just another way of saying a group, Orbit. What we need is our own vegetable garden. Then we'd never run out. That's a great idea. We could grow our own carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers. And lettuce! A whole drove of lettuce! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can plant our own vegetable garden. That sounds like a vegelicious idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bath planet? No, that's where we go to get clean after we plant a garden. The beach planet? That won't do. Vegetables need soil to grow, not sand. The garden planet, that's perfect. Yes, the garden planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Orbit. Lots of folks come here to plant vegetables, so somebody must have left it out. Uh, somebody wasn't thinking about safety. Hey, look at this spot. No one's using it. It would make a good garden, don't you think? Sure, but we'll have to prepare the soil first. It needs to be dug up and turned over using shovels. I can do that. I can help. Um... Also, we'll need a plan. We need to figure out what to plant and where to put it. That can be our job, TK. Come on, let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to report the garden site is ready to go, Captain Soil. Awesome, Major Dirt. Operation Veg, very excellent garden, is underway. And while you were digging, we figured out where plants should go. Yes, we organized the plants into rows, so we'll know what each vegetable is when it sprouts out of the ground. One question, Agent Sprout. What's with the chicken wire? Are we growing chickens? <laughs> of course not. It's to keep out the rabbits. Rabbits love vegetables. Good idea. We don't want anyone or anything eating our lettuce. <laughs> right. 
Now all we need to do is plant the seeds and seedlings. Hey, I know. Let's have a race to see who can plant the seeds the fastest. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Oh! Oops, sorry. Oh, I wish everyone would stop leaving garden tools lying around. I win. I'm the fastest, so I'm the best. <gasps> Ouch! Are you okay? Are you sure? Well, okay. But you should be more careful where you're stepping. Soil? Huh? Rob? What are you doing? Wait a minute. There's something funny going on. What's he doing? Oh, I get it. He's pretending to be a rabbit. Ha ha. Very funny, Rob. Uh, are you sure he's joking around? Maybe that bonk on his head was harder than we thought. Rob? Uh-oh. I think you're right. Maybe Rob has a loose wire. Hmm? <gasps> he thinks he's a rabbit! Worse! He's a rabbit! We have to do something! Don't panic. We'll find a way to fix this. Let's think. Hmm. Maybe we can rejig his wires. Or hit his reset button. Rob? Oh, no! Ah! What happened? Rob isn't just a robot. He's a Destructo Bunny. We've got to find him. Come on! Huh? Here, Robert, Robert, Robert! Oh! We really need to take safety more seriously around here. I know you're there. I hear you, Rob. Ah! You're not Rob! Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa! Trap. Um. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for later. Here comes Rob. I hope this works. Ready? Now! <laughs> Robo sticks! He's too quick! I'll never catch him. He's too fast! Put that there! Mom! Are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Woohoo! You're okay! You're okay! Rob isn't a robot anymore! A rabbit? Would you believe us if we said you thought you were a rabbit? A rabbit? You mean the animal with floppy ears that hops? <laughs> That's silly. Uh-huh. But it's true. Huh? We think one of your wires came loose when you hit your head on that rake. That rake? For real? Wow. I guess I should be more careful, huh? We should all be more careful. <laughs> this looks amazing! And now that the garden tools are put away, no one will get hurt. Right! Now we'll have yummy vegetables to look forward to. And you know what that means. We'll have lettuce! <laughs> yes, and it means this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we 
went to the garden planet to plant a vegetable garden. Only I walked into a rake and, well, can you believe it? I thought I was a rabbit. When I bumped my head again, I returned to normal. But it made us realize how important it is to pay attention to safety. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, something. Huh. What? We cannot help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that too, but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help-giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy. But not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh, the book planet. Yeah. That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes, but we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good place. <laughs> Excellent choice, the comet cake planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Celebrating Hope Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm. Maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right. It's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. 
Hmm. It's turned into a comet mush. Ew. Ew. It looks like all the good ones have been picked already. Hmm. <laughs> there must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. <gasps> and there it is. Yeah. Whoa. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> huh? Huh? I don't believe that greedy gears. He just took our comet cake. Well, he's not getting away with it. <laughs> Yes, he is. Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Spaceship is that? Oh, but it belongs to that greedy Gears cake snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on Help Giving Day? That's the worst. He'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. I'd say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help, too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Not the baby. I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out. ship so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. So, should I get the cake now? Huh? You want us to have the dessert? to celebrate Help Giving Day, wouldn't you? Mmm, -hmm, the best! 
almost as good as this comet cake. <laughs> well, I'd say that's a really big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the Comet Cake Planet to get one for our help-giving dinner dessert. But every Comet Cake was too hard or too mushy, except one. But another robot took it. We thought he was being greedy. But then we found out he and his son were just hungry. Since help-giving day is to celebrate helping others, we helped them by fixing their broken spaceship so they could go home. And we learned how much others appreciate it when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember, even when it's not help giving day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! In time. We're going to play show and share, and Orbit's up first. Today, the thing I want to show and share is my space top. When you spin it really fast, <laughs> it balances on its tiny tip. Yeah, we know, Orbit. <laughs> That's because you always show your space top for show and share. Maybe you have something new to show and share with us? Uh, nope. Nothing new. How about you, TK? Or Rob? Or Emma? Hmm. It looks like we all have the same things we usually show and share. No one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> to find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> Time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find new things for show and share. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> How about Tree Planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Stinky Foot Planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we'd find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Show and share. Hooray! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> hey, wait for me! Bouncing bolts! This place has all kinds of cosmic 
wickedly cool things. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Mm. I've never seen a rock like that before. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Rob. We're ready. We all found something really cool for show and share. So did I. <laughs> but it's just a rock. Ooh. Yeah, but it has stripes and a hole right through the middle. Neat, huh? Does it do anything? I don't think so. It's just a rock. That's what I said. There are tons more interesting things around here than a rock. Yeah, like what I found. Come on! Show and share. What is it? It's a radio, I think. It plays music. Let me show you. Whoa! That doesn't play music. It makes noise. Loud noise. Can we shut it off? Please! <laughs> Show and Share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great Show and Share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My Show and Share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. <laughs> That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and share is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool. Awesome! And I think this button makes it really fly. <laughs> Heard of a rolling saucer? Me neither. But I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! Rock I found earlier isn't just a rock either. 
I bet Rod's right. Let's go see. Well, it sure feels like a rock. And it's hard like a rock. Ooh. It smells like a rock, too. Yuck. Here, Emma. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound like a rock. Amazing. Looks like we all found a special new something to show and share. That's right, Emma, which means mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. And Orbit's flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Discovery Planet. Ready or not, here I come. Ooh, nothing gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. One, two, three on orbit. Huh? Aw, I'm always the first one who gets found. <laughs> That's because you're always the first one I see, Orbit. didn't take long. It never does. There just aren't enough hiding places on our spaceship. Hmm. We need to find a place to play a really good game of hide and seek. Yes. That's right. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. play a really fun game of hide and seek. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The soccer planet? Soccer's fun, but that's not what we want to play. <laughs> the clock planet. We know what time it is. Time to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good place. Yes, the hide-and-seek planet. The perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Okay. 
stop the hide and seek planet. Rocket robots. There's all kinds of places to hide. I'm it. Called it. Okay. Come on. Let's get hiding. This time you're never going to find me. <laughs> Like a good hiding spot. Oops! Sorry, Squeak. I didn't know this was your hiding spot. I'll find somewhere else to hide. Huh? <laughs> hey, what's this? A hat machine? It looks like it's just my size. gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. And this looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Nope, no one under there. Oh, I sure hope he didn't see me. Hey, who was that? Huh? Hmm. How'd this get here? <laughs> Rob, look out! The broom! One, two, three on TK! Never mind me. I just saw that broom floating in the air. <laughs> A broom can't float, TK. Well, this one did. I saw it. It was floating all by itself. <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh at me. Well, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> Ooh, I spy with my invisible eye some more fun for a visible orbit. Never mind one, two, three on me. One, two, three on whoever was tickling my feet. Well, we're all here, so it must have been Orbit. <laughs> but I don't see him. <laughs> well, I hear him. I'm over here. One, two, three on. Squeak? Oh, where's Orbit? I'm over here. I'm stuck under this. Get it off me. Don't worry, Orbit. We're coming. Not that one. I'm under this one. All right, Orbit. That's enough. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No way. We're playing hide and seek. You have to find me. Come on! I'm over here! <gasps> uh, uh. Help! I fell in a hole! I can't get out! I'm in this big hole! I'm not falling for that trick again, Orbit. But I really am here! You can see me now! That hat that made me invisible fell off! A hat that made you invisible? Now you're being way too silly. <laughs> We're going back to the ship! 
Once he realizes we've stopped looking for him, he'll come back to the rocket. stuck on the hide-and-seek planet forever. We wouldn't have left you, Orbit. But you were making so much stuff up, we didn't know when you were telling the truth. <laughs> I know you're right. I'm sorry. But even though I got myself into trouble, that was the best game of hide-and-seek ever. Mission <laughs> accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So... What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the hide-and-seek planet to find some good hiding places. But Orbit found a hat that made him invisible. So instead of hiding, he played tricks on us. Then Orbit fell down a hole and called us for help. We thought he was still tricking us. But when we found out that he really did need our help, we came to his rescue right away. We learned that when someone always makes things up, it's hard to know when they're telling the truth. I'd suggest that always telling the truth is the way to go. For sure. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Place to go for a vacation. I got it. Let's go camping. Yay! Uh, camping. That's a great idea, Emma. But I've never been camping. Me neither. It's great. You get to toast marshmallows. Did you say marshmallows? Mmm. Yes. And not just that. You get to sleep in tents and sing camp songs. And if I do, the others will say, have you ever seen a robot with his antenna in a knot down by the bay? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to learn all about camping? Yeah! That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find the best place in the whole robot galaxy to go camping. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The ice planet. That's a cool planet. But we might get cold sleeping in a tent there. The popping corn planet would be a great place to go to watch movies, but not for camping. That looks perfect. Excellent choice. That's the camping planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
stop the Captain Planet. Get back to the rocket 
catch you. The boat's kind of small, Rob. Even for me. I mean, what if we made a big one? You mean, build a boat big enough for all of us? I'm sure we could do it, if we have enough trash. Well, what are we waiting for? Water doesn't unglue the glue. You had to say that. <gasps> Rocket ship home! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it! Cleaning up and recycling all that garbage helped get us home. Well, I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit and I learned all about camping on the camping planet. We learned that good campers pick up their trash and leave their campsite clean for the next camper. But most of all, we learned that recycling is very important. We used trash nobody wanted to make a boat that brought us safely back to our rocket ship. That was great. Well done. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. Sounds like a super mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, yeah, but 
We don't want to build a tree house. Mm -hmm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True. But if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. Mm -hmm. The craft planet. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh... Good thinking! Okay, let's get started. Hmm. I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sound better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on! Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're going to make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it. We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower. <laughs> huh? They're making a palace. A mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's going to be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller. Time to get rocking, TK. to see out of. I bet Orbit and Emma didn't think to add one of those. Ours is definitely taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, 
we'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. Doorway. It's too tall. Oh, uh -huh. that's too bad. I guess now he'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. <laughs> oh, oh no! Be careful! Whoa! 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 <laughs> I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? Wahoo! It's Squeak! He's asleep in Rob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower. Or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished. But sometimes, small is best. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to know if there's anywhere in the whole robot galaxy where TK can get bigger. Hmm, that's a tricky one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Huh? Huh? Ice planet, burr. Nope, I want to get big, not cold. Mushroom planet, I don't think anything is big there. That looks like a planet where TK could get bigger. Yes, that's the super-sized planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
find some way to shrink her back to normal. Where did they go? Don't worry, I'll find you. better. At least not this big. I can't fit in the rocket. I can't find my friends. Wait! My tummy trunk! I must have something to help me find them. Uh... Oh, there's no way to get over those giant spikes. Do you hear something? Hmm. Huh? Ah! Where did that giant saw come from? Hmm. TK's Tommy Trunk! What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the super-sized planet so TK could get bigger. We learned you can do some pretty neat things when you're big. But it also means you might not be able to do other things. But most of all, we learned that big or small, it's always best to just be yourself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Sleep every night on the rocket. 
Slumber parties aren't about going to sleep. They're about fun and games and staying up late. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to find the best planet in the whole Roblox galaxy for a sleepover. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Let's go. Which one stops? Nobody <laughs> knows. Wow, it's the rainbow planet. Ooh. It looks pretty, but I don't think we could play or sleep on rainbows. Ooh. I think it would be too cool to sleep on the ice planet. Hmm. That looks like a good place for a slumber party. Yes, the bedtime planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown! Hurry everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Story. Our beds. 
I'd rather play hide and seek. We can play nice, slow, relaxing hide and seek. I'll be it. Everybody hide. One, two, three, four, five, six. TK, you're supposed to be hiding. We have to stay up all night and play games. trying to keep us all awake? Uh. Don't worry, Orbit. I have an idea. Oh. Sometimes this teddy bot sleeps with me, so I don't have bad dreams. Would you like to sleep with it tonight, Orbit? Thank you, TK. But what about you? No, you won't have your teddy bot. <laughs> Good thing teddy bots have sisters. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the bedtime planet for a slumber party. We played lots of fun games. So many that we got very tired. But Orbit wanted to keep playing. Then, we discovered Orbit was afraid he might have bad dreams. So TK let Orbit borrow her teddy bot to sleep with. Then he was okay. We learned that staying up late sometimes is fun, but in the end, you always have to go to bed. And sometimes, we need a little help going to sleep. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Your 
just in time for breakfast. <gasps> <gasps> Was that your tummy, Emma? <laughs> yeah. I'm always hungry after my morning exercises. What will it be? Toast and jam, oatmeal, or my famous scrambled space eggs? Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg-tastic choice. Get ready for countdown. So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hey ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Hmm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah. That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right, yeah! yeah. I should warn you. Sometimes a simple-sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So, if you need help... We can do it! Okay, then. The eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs. Here come the great egg collector. <gasps> oh, no! The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens.
Chicky, come to orbit. Ah! Uh oh. Orbit, what did you do? It wasn't me. The cow did it. That's not a cow, Orbit. That's a bull. Okay, but now, before we can collect the eggs or catch the chickens, we need to fix the fence. The bone knocked over. You and TK go after the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let me see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! Grumpy, you just need to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah, turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. the eggs farmer, Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Farmer Fred. While he was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence, and then we got chased by a robo bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done! What an egg-citing mission! As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. Goodbye, Farm Planet. Hello, everyone. We've got a big ah, 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 ah. problem. 
Kay's not feeling well. Mm. I think I must have come down with... Uh, 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 picked up a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I, I, ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet. Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it, planet! That's it! That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Stop the fix it planet. Hmm. Come on, TK. I think the fix it clinic is this way. Nice it's here, wow. Huh? Ooh. Don't you mean, wow, it's nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay? Looks 
like you caught the space virus, too. Hmm. Uh <sighs> Our mission is getting bigger. We need to get all three of you to the clinic and fast. Don't worry, Rob. I'll help you. All of you. Uh... <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Thanks, Emma. You got us here. What? That's not. You know, maybe we should just go. I'm not sneezing all the time. Maybe being sick isn't so. Bad. So, how are they gonna fix us? I mean, are they gonna take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. Huh? No. I'm supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing. Oh, and Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently. But lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up. Oh, and it's fun! There, you see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. Phew! Thanks, Thanks Doc. Doc. I feel much better. And you sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, TK was sick. She had caught a nasty space virus. Uh, 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 achoo! Achoo! So, we went to the Fix-It Planet to help TK feel better. TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon, he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, fix 
opposite planet? Hey, what's that squeaking sound? Are you squeaking, Rob? I don't think so, Orbit. It sounded like you. It's the both of you. And, and you. You're all squeaking. And I think I know why. Everyone, even robots, need two things every day to stay healthy. A good breakfast and exercise. That's why we're squeaking. Because we don't get enough exercise? Yes! A little exercise is all you need to get rid of those squeaks. Well, that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. somewhere we can exercise to get rid of our squeaks. Exercise is always good. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. That planet! We'll need to wash up there for sure after we exercise. The veggie planet! Mm, not the right place. Huh? But let's go there later for a snack. like a place where we might get rid of our squeaks? Yeah! The Exercise Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Fine form right there. Mm, yes, I like the way I look. How do you like it? Mm, ah, it's good to stay in shape. I am Quaid, the fitness instructor. Huh? What's all that squeaking? Uh... It's you? Uh, that's why we're here. Emma says a little exercise is all we need to get rid of them. Yes, your squeaky joints need exercise. Come with me if you want to get fit. of that squeaking, you need to exercise for one half hour. A half hour? A whole half hour? But Emma said a little exercise. Don't worry. You'll see. The time will fly because you will be having so much fun. Now, I need to find my stopwatch so I can time your workout. Wait for me, but whatever you do, don't push this button. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'll be back. Maybe lifting weights and doing push-ups is fun for Quaid, but not for us. Ooh, what about playing catch? That's exercise we could do. We can use this ball. Uh oh, too late! Come on, we have to get that 
a little bit faster. <sighs> oh boy. <sighs> huh? Fun. I know. I'll just push the button. <laughs> Orbit. No. Queen said. Perfect. Half an hour. How did you enjoy your exercise? <sighs> exercise? But we haven't started yet. We were busy chasing this. <laughs> of course. That is what you were supposed to do. Huh? <laughs> This is my Triminator 5000. It's an exercise machine. Chasing it around keeps you trim and fit. You said not to push the button. That's because I wanted you to wait so I could exercise with you. I love to exercise. That was fun. And I feel great. Of course. Just running around playing sports or games is all good exercise. And the best exercise is fun exercise. Am I right? Yeah! Okay, now check for squeaks. <laughs> Whoa! The exercise worked! No more squeaks! <laughs> Mission accomplished! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd been sitting around doing nothing for so long, we started to squeak. So we went to the exercise planet for some exercise. We met a trainer named Quaid. But before he could teach us how to exercise, we turned on his robot by mistake, and it ran away. So we chased after it, and did a lot of hopping, lifting, swinging, and lots of running, trying to catch up to it. But that's what the machine was supposed to do. Quaid helped us learn that running, jumping, and playing games and sports are all good ways to get exercise. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Now buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Quaid! Goodbye, Exercise Planet! Emma has a problem. Ah! My moon boots! I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my moon boots! Oh, how could I have lost them? <gasps> hmm, 
think, Emma. Uh -huh. Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, and then I had them on the mud planet. Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we gonna help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm, I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I, I can't remember. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? That looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. Lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! Huh? Big A, look! It's my coloring book I lost huh? years ago! It's yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. Hmm. Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You could pretend it's your tummy trunk. luck finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you 
okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're stuck. What are we going to do? Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? <sighs> I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one, and left a trail. Yes! We can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly! TK, I am a finding genius, and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit. I think. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started! But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh! Listen! Huh? It sounds like it's coming from... Rob? What are you doing in there? Where's Emma? In here! Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us! <gasps> Don't worry! We'll get you out! <laughs> Do you think the best finder ever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers? Wait! Maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk! That's it! Your tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back, Orbit! I'm going into overdrive! Oh! TK, you're the best! Look out, Orbit! Here we come! <laughs> TK really saved the day! Saving the day. Ta da! Orbit! You found my moon boots! Thank you so much! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Yay! <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? that belong to you. That's what Orbit did. And he started to find all the things that he'd ever lost. Orbit was so excited, he stopped paying attention to where he was going. Next thing we knew, he was lost with TK. But TK figured out that following the trail of Orbit stuff would lead them back to us. Good thing too, because Emma and I got trapped under a pile of boxes. We needed TK's help to get us out. Not only did we find Emma's lost boots, we also learned how important it is to pay attention and 
stick together when you're in a new place, so you don't get lost. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Lost and Found Planet. <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> Sorry, it's my tummy growling. Sounds to me like your tummy is telling us it's lunchtime. Lunchtime? But I thought we were going to the beach. Hmm, that's right. Hey, why don't we do both? We can have a picnic lunch at the beach. Good idea. Great idea. Bad idea. Huh? How come? Ants. Ants? Every time I've been on a picnic, Ants show up and crawl over everything. Ick! One time ants even crawled into my treads, and I was jumping and dancing for a week. Well, have you ever had a picnic on a beach? Hmm, no, but I bet there are ants there too. But you don't know that for sure, Orbit. Why don't we give it a try? Let's have a picnic on a beach. Yeah! That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to have a picnic. On a beach. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sandcastle. The clock planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit, but those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not gonna climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm gonna use my head. Well, while you're outsmarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> Any spot is a good spot, as long as there are no ants. Yeah. TK works fast. She's building up a big appetite. <sighs> okay, coconuts, come down. Uh, picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh huh. Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless.
fabulous coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Oh, rock and robots. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. This time, you're coming down. Getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Mm. No. Where? Right the. Huh? But it was there a second ago. It was right. Ants! Ants took my coconut! Sick! There are no ants here, Orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm gonna help you find the answer to. I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hm. Wow, can I have a couple of those oranges for my sandcastle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm gonna name it Castle Orange. Huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? what I thought I saw? Huh? Huh? You're not going to believe this, but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Huh? Ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not going to believe this, but I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No. They floated off huh? all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know what took your coconut or your fruit, but I'm sure it was an invisible ant or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm -hmm. We'll need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, hmm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Ooh. A space lizard! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough. But not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away.
control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. Done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, space wizard. Goodbye, beach planet. Hi, everyone. Come and see what we're working on. like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Let's go! 
the big mission <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your life? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the puzzle piece prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Puzzle Planet! There you are. Hurry, come on in. Orbit says he's got a high-flying surprise to show us. Look what I made! It's a paper kite! Wow! I love it! Can I try it? Actually, you can try your own kite! I made one for each of you! Aw, thanks, Orbit! <laughs> You're welcome! Here's one with a wrench on it for TK, and one with rockets for Rob! Thanks! Cool! So what are we waiting for? Let's fly them! But wait! We can't fly kites in here. There's no wind. Greasy gears, you're right! We need to find a windy place. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place to fly our new kites. Oh, I love kite flying. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Tree planet. That's a cool place to relax in the shade. True, but our kites might get tangled in all those tree branches. Ooh, snow planet! Cool place, but maybe too cool. We might get frozen in a snowstorm if we go there, Orbit. Hey, that looks like a safe place. Windy planet, excellent choice. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop, Windy Planet. Day. 
No. Phew. My gears are already overheated. The wind from this fan should help cool you off. Oh, thanks, TK. I don't get it. The kites are supposed to catch the wind and fly up high. Hey, has anyone noticed that none of the windmills are turning and none of the flags are flapping either? Uh huh? So? Well, they both move by wind power. So if the windmills aren't turning and the flags aren't flapping... That means there's no wind. No wind on the windy planet? Greasy gears. That's like no popcorn on the popcorn planet. Or no peanuts on the peanut planet. Or no snow on the snowball planet. Or no meatballs on the... Okay, we get it, Orbit. But the main thing is, no wind means no kite flying. Wait, maybe we can use TK's fan to fly our kites. Try it, TK. Okay, but I'm not sure it'll make enough wind. Three, two, one, lift off! Huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like we'd need a fan as big as one of those windmills. Unless... What if we had a kite that doesn't need wind to fly? Wait here. I'll be right back. While he's off doing that, I think we've got a new mission to solve. The mystery of the missing wind. Yes, this is the Windy Planet. So the wind must have gone somewhere. Ooh, I love a mystery. Maybe the windmills will give us a clue. Come on. Whoa, these things sure are big. I wonder what they do. Windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like producing electricity or even grinding flour for bread. Hey, look at this. It looks like a control panel. Ooh, maybe that lever starts the windmill turning. Except wind makes windmills turn, Emma, not pulling levers. That's right. I keep forgetting. Then I wonder what it's for. Hey, everyone, look what I made. It's a robo-kite. Robo-kite? It's powered by mini-jets, so we don't need any wind. It flies by remote control. But doesn't that take all the fun out of flying a kite orbit? Just watch. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Pretty neat, huh? I guess, but it isn't the same as flying a real kite. But you can do tricks with my robo kite. Watch. <laughs> uh oh, it was supposed to stop. Look out! Oh, We're supposed to fly kites, not hide from them. The off button isn't working. Then how are we going to stop it? Watch out, Rocket! Huh? Huh? Phew, that was close. Sorry. I guess the only real way to fly a kite is with wind. Hey, look! Huh? That flag's flying! That means there's wind! The windmill! Wait a minute! Windmills don't make wind! Wind makes windmills turn! Maybe these windmills are different! Huh? Maybe these windmills do make wind. You know, like TK's fan. Then that would mean they're not really windmills. They're giant fans. Greasy gears, they're all giant fans that make the windy planet windy. And I think I know how to turn them on. 
I'll bet this is the on switch. Hooray! You did it, Rob! Yay! Now there's lots of wind on Windy Planet. And you know what that means. them go! Your paper kites fly great, Orbit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well, we went to the Windy Planet to play with our kites. But for some reason, our kites wouldn't fly. That's when we noticed that the flags weren't flapping and the windmill wasn't turning. TK taught us that windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like produce electricity and grind flour for bread. But without any wind, the windmill wouldn't work. We soon discovered it wasn't a windmill at all. It was a giant fan. We just had to turn it on. We also learned that things aren't always what they seem. And we finally got to fly our kite. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, to replace the broken one. Then what are we waiting for? Garage planet, here we come. That's our second problem. Huh? huh? What do you mean, second problem? The garage planet is too far away. The rocket will never make it all that way with only one good booster. Well, there must be some place we can find a second booster. Hmm. Some place closer. There's no time to lose. We have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find a rocket booster to replace our broken one. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hmm, I bet there are all kinds of spare parts on the puzzle planet. But they're puzzle parts, not rocket parts. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about the farm planet? Hmm. I'm sure we'd find a red rooster, but we need a rocket booster. That looks like a place where we might find rocket parts. Yes, the junkyard planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Next stop, the junkyard track. This is where all broken rocket ships go. Ooh. Sorry, Rocket. I didn't mean you. Don't worry. Once we find you another booster, you'll be as good as new. Okay, gang. Let's spread out. to scare you. <laughs> Who did you think it was? The junkyard ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Cut it out, Orbit. <laughs> I'm gonna go look over there. Uh... Huh? What was that? Orbit, I heard a noise. But I did hear something. Relax. There's no one here but us. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not rocket boosters. <gasps> Is someone there? We're the only huh? ones here. I... I thought I saw someone. Hmm. Huh? huh? Well, you must have imagined you saw someone. Hmm. <gasps> well, I'm not imagining those footprints. <gasps> I don't know, TK. They don't really look like footprints to me. Uh, Maybe that's what junkyard ghost footprints look like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure something's out there. Well, I'm still hoping there's a used rocket booster out there. Somewhere. But we won't know until we find it. Let's go. Uh, you want to huh? stick with me, TK? No, it's okay, Rob. Thanks. Someone drew this flower. Hmm. Someone made this garden and twinged the flowers. <laughs> huh? huh? I knew it. I knew there was someone here. Wait, she was just as afraid as I was. Hmm. Hello? Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. That's your garden, isn't it? I think you like flowers. Do you like the one I made? It's not as pretty as yours. But you can have it if you like. Huh? My name's TK. I'm glad you like it. Huh. I'm starting to think there isn't one rocket booster on this whole planet. I found one! Uh -huh. I think I found one! Over here! I need help! I almost got it! Uh. Mistaken. There's no way across. How are we gonna get over? We're trapped. But not TK. Hmm. But what can TK do? I don't know, Orbit, but at least she's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> TK! <laughs> Look out! This is Blossom. 
I named her that because she really likes flowers. Okay. See? I knew there was someone here. <laughs> hey! How did you get stuck way over there? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> What's important is how we're going to get back across. Maybe TK's new friend can help us. What about it, Blossom? Can you help my friends? Uh -huh. Ooh. Thanks, Blossom! Yay! So, did you find another booster to replace this broken one? <sighs> no. <clears throat> Blossom? Where are you going? did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the junkyard planet to try to find a new booster to fix the rocket. But while we were looking, TK found some strange footprints. But even though TK's new friend did look a little bit like a monster, she really wasn't. She was really nice. And she rescued us when we were stuck. Helped us find the piece we were looking for to fix the rocket. And helped us learn that you can't tell what someone is like just by the way they look. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. <laughs> 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 